Hello, blessed and beloved jewelry channel. 3D jewelry tutorial. Now I'm going to create a chain. Append your favorite diamond, make it two millimeters. I'm going to start here. I'm going to make a control A, all transforms. I'm going to make a mirror on the Y axis. I'm going to go to edit mode, select everything, adapt the space. I'm going to copy it on the Y axis two times. Now let's go on the X axis. No mirror on the X axis. And guess what letter I'm going to make. Create your favorite letter. Save and be happy. Then add mesh plane. Mirror on the Y axis. Let's go to edit mode. I'm going to keep these two vertices. Let's extrude on the Y axis. On the inside first I'm going to follow the stones. If the shapes becomes ugly, stop following the stones. Follow your instinct. Now I'm going to take this row and extrude. Now adapt the shape. Now take the stones and center the stone to your new shape. Now add mesh UV sphere 4020 dimension 0.7. Go to that mode. Make a prong. We adapt the center. Grab it here. Shade smooth. Mirror on the Y axis. Control A. All transforms. Now edit mode. Take these guys. Copy on the Y axis. Keep making the prong setting. Make your setting. Exit edit mode. Take the letter. Go to edit mode. Readapt the shape to the prongs. Now select everything with A. Extrude on the Z axis. Now top view. X rays. Select the interior. Here. Make a copy. In place. With P. Separate the selection. Exit edit mode. Take this border. Give it a solidify modifier to the inside. Minus 0.7 even thickness. Take the letter X-rays, select the outside border, make a copy, separate with P, copy modifiers to the selected object, go to edit mode, select the top edges, move on the Z-axis like this. Join with Ctrl J, add a bevel modifier, add a subdivision surface modifier, level 3, give two segments to the bevel. If you have these rounded corners, go to edit mode, Take a loop cut, make a cut close to the corner, exit edit mode. Now select the diamonds, make a copy, shift D, call these cutters, go to edit mode, x-rays, select this, lower it here, select here, move it up there, exit edit mode, take the base, generate boolean, fast from the cutters, make a subtraction, check the result. We're good. Hide the cutters. If you need bigger prongs, select the prongs, which edit mode, select everything. Work from individual origins and scale. Exit it mode. Now go to front view, add mesh, circle, 320 vertices. Make it 70 by 55. This is a medium large wrist. Bring it to the front view. Now select the letter. Don't forget the cutters. Move it onto the axis here over the wrist. Now add mesh, thorus, 50, 25. Stay around here. Take the borders of the letter, copy them on the Z axis here. Give them a one millimeter thickness. Readapt here. Now add mesh plane dimensions 0.7. Go to edit mode, scale on the X axis, rotate 45 degrees. Add an array modifier on the Y axis. Find a proper distance and a proper count come roughly here extrude on the z-axis make a copy scale on x minus one apply the scale move slightly up go to edit mode normals to the outside check that you're good save and be happy convert to mesh convert to mesh join call this gallery hide it for a second take the shape of the letter make a copy on the z-axis remove the boolean modifier Call this gallery cutter. Hide the gallery cutter. Take the gallery. Add a Boolean modifier. Intersect fast solver with the gallery cutter. If it doesn't work, first add a remesh modifier and apply the remesh modifier. Now come again with your Boolean. Intersect fast with the gallery cutter to get a clean result. Apply the Boolean. Save and be happy. Now take the torus. Bring it here, add a mirror on the Y axis from the letter, put another one there. Now we're going to need small bridges. 
add mesh cylinder adapter scale give a nice distribution to your bridges save and be happy good now i'm going to create a new collection d link now i'm going to select the design without the hoops make a copy shift d over to mesh alt c Control j join this is the d link 001 here i'm going to select the leftmost vertex cursor to select it bring the origin to 3d cursor and i'm going to design another link here let's start following the d link make a mirror on the x and y axis let's close the face i'm going to extrude let's inset let's erase this face and these edges now this edge is going to be open and don't forget to correct now let's extrude on the z-axis and close now i'm going to select this face make a copy and separate it and make one face here extrude and scale now i'm going to invert the selection erase the rest okay here when you don't see anything from the top view turn on the cavity in the viewport and this is much better mirror modifier on the y-axis let's add a bevel modifier and let's add a subdivision modifier level three now let's add a remesh modifier and let's make a smooth modifier many repeats work on the details save and be happy now let me copy this on the z-axis now let me cook and select everything copy on the z-axis scale minus one on the z-axis bring this to zero ridge edge loops this at one millimeter select the outside bridge edge loops we get this very nice outer rim i need a gallery but obviously we're going to make a different gallery save and be happy for the new gallery let's copy the borders of the new link element let's keep the floor only now let's make a loop cut right there in the middle now let's have some fun close this we're going to make a raise so take four friends each time distribute the rays obviously we need a solidify modifier thickness one normals check that you can't be too thin and you don't want to be too thick find a good balance so now we need the bridges i'm going to take a bridge from here and let's come to the new link mirror on x and y from the new link here and let's distribute and scale accordingly to make a pretty even distribution of these bridges name your elements and organize your collections when your design is ready make a copy convert to mesh join don't forget to check the face count with the decimate modifier we're pretty good save and be happy top and bottom modeling is done and now we need to make the complete chain for our wrist length and we add a cube okay so 22 centimeters that's 220 millimeters that's the length for my wrist we're going to start here now i can raise because we're going to multiply the length so i'm going to create a new collection and it's going to be chain flat distribution because obviously it's easier first to make the flat design the chain simply on the floor or whatever surface so we can also make the clasp because obviously i am going to make some kind of clasp for my chain bracelet for a 3d jewelry render the flat extension of the bracelet is a very typical and necessary view of our chain bracelet now select the elements of the first link and don't forget the hoops that come with it make a copy shift d bring them to our new collection we so this is going to go to mesh alt c ctrl j and we can go to add modifier array okay so here and now it's all about finding the proper spacing for the x factor of the array do the same for the other link and then just find the correct count for the length of your wrist so we have 10 there so here we're going to have nine now for these links i'm going to apply the array then let's go to edit mode erase the left side on the left side now let's go to the right side 
and let's erase the right side so the clasp can fit exit edit mode so here copy and extract the left link bring it to the right so here i'm going to create two catch clasps we just have the space and it's going to be perfect add mesh plane size one millimeter let's go to edit mode so here i need to fit the push button on the side and we're going to attach the clasp on the left side so now let's extrude this let's extrude so this can be around here now it's going to catch one of the supports on the sides of the link we'll tweak that later and now this goes okay so this starts like this now here i'm going to select this make a cursor to selected i'm going to make a spin obviously 180 degrees and now this curve smooth out progressively exit edit mode origin to geometry check the level slightly above the metal okay edit mode extrude on the z-axis give it some bevel subdivision surface then put two segments for the bevel so you keep the precision okay now let's work on the link we need to adapt okay so here this bridge selected with l erase it do the same on the other side don't forget we can set the mirror modifier on the y-axis for the clasp the clasp need to catch something that's why it's a catch clasp add plane scale here through on the z-axis okay this element gets a mirror on the y-axis and we need to adapt further if we want the clasp to come out obviously this bridge needs to go on both sides so these corners bridges they go now these two bridges here they go they're normally for the hoops but there we won't have hoops because we have the clasps okay now the other link also needs some adaptations now on this side we're going to erase and replace these two bridges so now with the clasp Let's go cursor to selected, add a cube. Now this cube is going to be a wall on this side. Here, let's adapt to the edge. Now on the side, cursor to selected. Check the distance for the push button. This is nice. Now this wall, bring it to the bridge so that the support for the clasp is strong enough and doesn't bend in any way. Now I'm going to add a bit more structure around the clasp here let's close the enclosure the enclosure for the clasp is closed here and we need to readapt the clasp obviously to its new enclosure okay so work on the enclosure of the clasp good and now we can check the result this side has the enclosure so we can see that the clasp are going to fit and enter in their enclosure and we can see that on the inside that's where the clasp is going to click and these are the clasps with enough distance for the button to push and slide in once the design of the clasp is complete don't forget to check and adapt the distances and thicknesses for the manufacturing process my button can be closer to that edge so now obviously to complete the design of the chain this link is the left link so it's important to take it with the enclosure to the left side and put it exactly back into place and now it's important to take the chain that has the not adapted link select that link erase that old not clasp adapted link so we can keep the new adapted link with the clasp enclosure in the correct position and on the right side we have the clasps perfectly adapted to our design we could also add security chains on each side if the client really wants them i don't like them because they almost systematically break the harmony of the design but well if the clients want them let them have them this completes this d letter chain with diamonds gallery and clasps 3D jewelry modeling tutorial. Save and be happy.